Okay, um, we're going to do uh, an armbar escape um, into from a short armbar, meaning when it doesn't have both legs across, it has one shin in the roots and one leg across the face. Um, we're going to do an armbar escape from there into a shin lock and into a cradle. So um, it's quite cool. So Andy's going to have me in north south and he's going to hit an armbar. So here I am. He hits the armbar. Ideally, ideally, I want to defend here. If I can't, I can still live it out. See where I have to come up here? There's nothing, sorry, there's nothing holding me down here. So I'm going to elevate and walk around. Elevate, walk around, and just turn. And I'm going to catch this foot on the way, like so. Okay, so the shin lock, I'm going to drive into him a little bit to bend that leg, keep it bent where it's a bit weaker. I don't want him to kick it straight. So this arm is here, I'm going to drive in a bit and trap it there with this knee on this side, then bring this arm down to hug. Okay, as I do this, lift up his foot, placing my shin, my knee on his shin. Very nasty. So here, he's got the arm bar, here, there, keeping the weight here, and <laughs> boom, there. If he kicks it straight, as instinctively you probably do here, no problem. I come up here, and I'm going to look for his head here, look for a cradle, where he's sitting here. So I come out here a bit. So I'm here, not working, no problem. I come here, there's a brace cradle, a regular cradle, like so. There's a regular cradle, stack him out, put my weight through, compress him. Half Nelson Pry there. Got a lot of options. <laughs> 